One of the common questions that we get here at Expedition Overland is the question of, what gear do you carry in your trucks? Or what should I bring on Expedition? This video is to give you a fairly thorough glimpse into what we take on our trips to try and answer a what could be considered a loaded question, pun intended. We'll start out with what we call vehicle gear. The odds and ends essentials that make for a prepared vehicle when it comes to a wide range of tasks and situations. So let's get to it. In some Central American countries, we are required to have safety triangles and a signaling device, such as flares or some other lit marker, and a safety vest. This can all be purchased at a general store. A tool roll is also a must have. We outfit ours with as much of the common tools as we use in the shop as we can. The most common sockets, screwdrivers, extensions, etc. The stuff we use every day. While on the trail, we may become stuck, and having proper recovery bag is critical. Generally, our max tracks are used whenever we are stuck. But when we find ourselves needing a winch, this bag has all the proper equipment to manage the situation safely. Gloves, shackles, snatch blocks, winch extension lines, tree saver straps, snatch straps or rope, as well as the line dampers. As part of our tool gear, we also bring a tire repair kit. This one here is the ARB tire repair kit that we have used for several years now. As part of our tire kit, we also have an air down tool that safely allows us to air down tires repeatedly. The air hose hooks up to a compressor and refills those tires back to street pressures. Other miscellaneous items in the vehicle gear category are extra fluids that we commonly stash where we can find room up in the engine bay. Also, a super siphon hose for refueling from NATO jerry cans. Next is the galley. This is a very personal category to everyone. Just think how different kitchens are from home to home. But the basics are basics, and that's what we build our galley from. We are using two fridges to keep our storages cold. The one in the back of the Tacoma is the main food fridge, and the other one in the Forerunner is used for personal drinks, snacks, etc., as well as a freezer for a few frozen goods. Keep in mind that we are often cooking for up to 10 people, so our galley is more robust compared to the average camp setup. For example, we use a full pot set. This is a high-end magnet set that we ordered online. We carry enough plates and bowls for 10 people, and everyone gets a spork for their utensil. A personal pocket knife becomes your dinner knife. In addition to any fresh goods that we carry, we also have a small assortment of freeze-dried food in the event we need them, stored in one of several of our dry food store boxes. We now use a cook partner stove custom made from our adventure trailer system and is the finest stove we have used to date. The stove roams on propane that we fuel from a five pound tank that will last up to a three weeks when cooking for the whole crew. The galley is protected from the elements by our coveted Easy On Batwing awning and is lit from a rear bumper work light. This year we will rest our heads again on the Easy On line of rooftop tents. We permanently store our warm weather sleeping bags and our cocoon sleep sheets folded up within the tent for an easy camp setup at night. Our final category is what we refer to as trail gear. This is another big topic that changes sometimes dramatically depending on the environments, duration, and conditions expected on a trip. For our Central America expedition, this is the basic setup. A water purification system that we can use to provide us with virally protected water powered by either a solar or stored 12 volt battery system. Next is tools. We anticipate a lot of jungle clearing so we have upped our machete count, sharpened our axes, and thrown in a small hand shovel. These machetes are stored at the side of the driver's seat for some added security if the going gets tough. We have made the critical decision this year to leave behind our trusted chainsaw. Med kits also fit into this category, and every truck is provided with one, as well as each individual with a small individual first aid kit, known as an IFAC kit. For this year's trip, we have made a decision to outfit each vehicle with a small bug out bag. Triple Lot Design provided us with three fast pack light speed packs that are just the perfect size for the job. In these bags, we put the basic tools for survival. Items such as fire starters, water purification tablets, a water bottle, as well as basic first aid kits for scratches and pain, bug nets, knives, paracord, a single MRE, a signal mirror, and compass. 
We also put in a disassembled radio that has our expedition's frequencies programmed into it in the event we get split up. Each light speed bag has a certain strong point over the other as well. One may have a little more food, one might have a bigger knife, one might have more tools. Any one bag is sufficient, but if all three bags are available, it provides a bomber survival kit for up to a few days. An expedition is a major thing to plan for, and the better you can fine tune the equipment that you carry, the better. Generally, the golden rule of less is more holds true. Experience has told us that. In this season's footage, you will see a lot more gear within these vehicles. Some of it is personal gear, such as chairs, etc., but most of it is production gear. Gear required to make this series possible. A lot of that gear you will see in the back of Apollo, the Silver Forerunner. In the rear, we fabricated a shelf system that will allow quick access to those items. Our film gear has asked to remain anonymous in our series, so that will have to be for another time. Hope this helps with the general idea of the gear that goes into our vehicles.